Oh, hello. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi. Welcome. How are you today? Good, good. Anyways, let's, you know, not dilly-dally too much, but rather say, if you are new to the librarian, let me explain uh, who and what he is. He's an individual who uh, travels from realm to realm, aka game to game, via books. Quite often. Sometimes other manners, but often books. Uh, he, uh, his, his sort of default is uh, spreading uh, joy and fun and relaxation, and he just wants to have a fun, uh, you know, chill time, yo. Chill time, yo. Um, however, there was a time where he found himself as the Elden Lord in the game Elden Ring. Huh? And in that realm, he found a mushroom... I'm just going to call it a hat. I don't really know what it was necessarily, but I'm going to call it a hat. A hat made of mushrooms. And when I was playing that game, I'm mixing in and out of character to make it very confusing. When I was playing that game, I would often joke, and I even did a little compilation video, edited no less, as much as I avoid editing clearly, where I would joke that the mushroom was slowly taking him over and driving him mad. So, this is canon, what's about to happen here, which is my uh, Dark Urge, the Librarian Darkest Timeline playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I was recording my, you know, normal playthrough, as I had planned to do with this game since I did Baldur's Gate 2, and this is a much-loved series by me since I was a, a young man <clears throat> all those many moons ago. So, um, I th you know, I get about halfway through and I thought, you know what? This game lends it so well to multiple playthroughs. As much as I kind of don't do that as much as I used to. Um, I feel like I could do it with this, and I could do an evil playthrough. Like I used to do, back in the day. Back in the day when I did multiple playthroughs of games, your Skyrims, your Fallouts, a lot of Bethesda games apparently, I would often do a good playthrough first, evil playthrough second. You know, the, the, a lot of people do that. So that is by no means original. However, um, in this case, I'm treating it as if the, the the timeline of my Elden Lord playthrough, Elden Ring playthrough, sort of split off in two directions. One, the default librarian, just the, the normal, you know, dude. And then this, insane, uh, overtaken by uh, mushrooms, uh, clearly uh, mad. Chaotic evil would probably be fitting if we're talking in D&D parlance. Parlance is a fun word. Don't get to use it very often, so I'm glad I did. Um, and the fact that this has a spore druid, I, I mean, obviously lends itself very well for that. Um, and then the whole dark urge thing, which I'm uh, excited to explore. I've done some minimal testing on that. Like, uh, I've done a lot of testing with the mods. Oh yeah, on the note of mods. Whenever... Um, the librarian uses, you know, things to give, get his uh, infinite wealth, because of course he's infinitely or independently wealthy, or any sort of, as he calls them, forbidden magics. Like if I have to use, say, no clip to uh, get somewhere, or any sort of cheats or, you know, things of that nature, he calls them forbidden magics. Obviously, the the evil librarian is not going to worry about the forbiddenness of magic, so I'm uh, doing a modded playthrough, and I, I wanted to run them down. There'll be in uh, links to each of these in the description, but just so we go over them. Um, so I had one, two... Uh, I had more than this, um, but then some of them didn't make it through the testing phase, let's say. Uh, okay, so I've got additional skin colors just because of how I sort of pictured this uh, character we're going to create in a moment. Uh, weightless books. Spelled weightless wrong, I see. <clears throat> I should definitely just do some spell check before I post this. Anyways, weightless books, weightless gold. Uh, so those are sort of just... Uh, 
Jeez, what's the word I'm looking for? Quality of life, I feel like. <laughs> uh, feats every level up. Yeah, that should be interesting. Uh, I did mention we're going Druid. No wild shape cooldown. Now, what I don't know, will that apply to my Circle of Spores Druidy type stuff? That I don't know. Uh, so we'll find that out. Bags for organization. Yeah, this one uh, is interesting. Just gives you a bunch of bags that are sort of labeled and stuff. Mm hmm. Um, Dritz the Urdun gear found in tutorial area. Um, I thought that one would be cool because in the non dark timeline, uh, the librarian came across Dritz and company in Baldur's Gate 2 and sort of had a pleasant interaction. Whereas I feel like the chaotic evil one would have, uh, you know, killed him <laughs> and taken all this stuff. So, uh, you know, in lore and also some uh, interesting gear. Why not? Uh, mod fixer, because uh, apparently you kind of need that. Uh, Ring of Minor Rituals, that one's fun. It basically just... Uh, it, it's going to help, I feel like... Uh, a, a lot of the equipment I found that I was drawn towards was one that gave you spells. <laughs> and this just gives you, you know, Featherfall, Speak with Dead, Speak with Animals. Uh, and there was another one, I can't remember. But uh, just a ring to give you those sorts of spells, I'll figure it out free up some space uh tiefling buff so it's uh buffing my initial tiefling yeah we're gonna go uh tiefling and uh improved ui with some error fixes pretty exciting the last one. Oh wait actually no the last one is multi-class past level 12 um but i did put a note i don't know if it's a note to myself or a note to anyone reading the uh description below but uh, i haven't fully tested that one yet so we'll see if it actually works. Yeah, because I think it might not work on a in an existing save, because it didn't. Um, and obviously I'm not going to start a new game and level up <laughs> to level 12. Just, uh, I guess I'd have to be to level 13, just to see if that works. So it may work, it may not work, TBD. Um, other things I wanted to say, there is a voice. Yes. Uh, you know, the possibility of occasionally using this voice because there's many voices that I've said. However, uh, I also have a, and I've used it for a few D&D &D characters uh, uh, over the years, a, a, a crazy voice. Okay. Yeah, it's much crazier than my normal voice. Often it is. Um, because evil and crazy is often a good way to have your D&D, I don't know what I'm talking about D&D &D characters, but you know, link to my uh, uh, actual play podcast and a, a, a version of a, a level 20 librarian character sheet below. So I guess it sort of makes sense. Um, if you want to play an evil character in a good party, um, you know, there's ways to do it. It's not, uh, I, w I, w I would say not for beginners. Yeah. Because there's ways to do it wrong. And there's a lot of those. And there's a ways to do it right. And there's probably not that many of those, but one I have found is make them insane because, uh, the insanity of evilness can, you know, warp their minds in such a way to justify them, you know, working with a good party or, or doing things that are seemingly good, even though they are evil. So, uh, I'm not saying that's what we're going to do here because I'm going to try to be very evil, which is, you know, sort of very much against my nature. We end every episode with, it's nice to be nice to the nice. So, and I've done that for years and years. So I guess we'll see. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to say, but uh, that should be sufficient preamble, I guess, right? Yeah. Uh, we're going right from character creation. Um, yeah, I have some ideas, and I've done some testing, so we will see. Is my dice working? Dice is still working. Cool, cool, cool. All right. New game. Now uh, we're going easy peasy, lemon squeezy, because we're looking for a relaxing, if insane, experience. That's what we want.
This is fun. Ooh, going with the four figures, eh? That's interesting. You get a four finger discount on these little grubs, I guess. Oh, pretty. Reminds me of Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. Oh, they went in the ear, though. Oh, boy. <laughs> fun, fun. Yes, gimme, gimme. Here, let me grab my eyelid for you. Oh, yeah. Put it right there. Join us. Join us. <laughs> uh, should I reset? Uh, I don't think so. Alright. <laughs> Who are you? Wait, did that voice kind of sound like my scary voice there? A little bit, didn't it? Alright. So we're gonna go... Teethling. We're gonna go... Uh, this. Just because I wanted this. Uh, I figured... Uh, the librarian, the default one, did a lot of persuading. However, uh, this guy probably, less in the persuasion and more in the uh, uh, intimidation side of things. Okay, so I want guidance and... I do enjoy a thorn whip. Yeah, I don't know, it's pretty good. Where are my other options? Eh. Oh, you don't get a choice? Uh, a wicked... A wicked moment, person, or thing that cannot be slain by sword or spell haunts your mind. Oh my. Flickers in the peripheral vision. You carry it wherever your adventure takes you, or perhaps it carries you. Okay, let's see. This one's going to be not great. Um, what else? Maybe it'd be last. Well, that's kind of good where it is, right? And then first ASI, I can do con and wisdom. Yeah, like these stats will go up fairly quickly, especially at first, because I can get an ASI. I don't know if I'm going to do 20s across the board, but uh, we're going to be pretty high, I feel like, in a lot of these stats. Um, I kind of wouldn't mind him being strong. It's because... Or at the very least, do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Maybe I'll get... Uh, Oh, what you would call it? A uh, uh, feat that raises my int by one. Some interesting, perhaps. Uh, okay, okay. So, oh wait, what does that ring give me? Sorry, let me check my mind palace. Oh, <laughs> I guess we're we're doing out of character, so. 
doesn't really matter. The ring gives me speak with dead, detect thoughts, disguise self, and speak with animals. Okay, so I don't need to take any of those. Um, see, I would call this good shroom because we're going to be spore druid, right? What about healing word is never not good. Uh, I feel like I kind of don't need that one because eventually we're going to have a crap ton of uh, like healing potions. Uh, yeah, that could be good. Hmm. Yeah, how would that one work, I wonder? Maybe Fairy Fire's good with a little big group. Maybe Charm Person, actually. It might be good. Yeah, he's probably going to charm a lot of people. Um, because his skills are not that great. His skills to pay the bills. Alright. Where to next? What? what was that? Oops. Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. Something just woke up down here. Be wary. It's opened. I wonder what's back there. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to next? Hmm. What was that? Sure. <coughs> All right. This is going to look weird for a second. Okay. <laughs> Bear with me. Bear with me. Um... So he's sort of wizened. He's got a lot of marks. Uh, I guess you can't really see that. What with the uh, the whiteness, marble white. Which one did I use for? I heard it though. I think it was maybe that one. Or is it that one? <laughs> Which one looks the craziest? It's good. Mm, little squinty eyes. Yeah. Sort of mean looking almost. Uh, body art. I think we're good, unless anything jumps out at me. Anything fungal would be nice, but I, I did already have a luck and nothing sort of gave me that fungal vibe, although it's sort of interesting. Like the fungus taken over. Uh, okay. Let's make it subtle though. Oh, I know you got... I guess that's fire. Wait, what if, what if it's green? Very subtle. 13. Lucky 13. There you go. <laughs> I never even noticed this uh, librarian. Okay, let's see if there's any uh, easy breezy. <laughs> Beautiful. Cover girl. Um, nothing uh, given a particular That's sort of weird looking uh, fungal vibe. Uh, 
I think I might just go easy breezy. Beautiful. All right, a little, little skull there. Uh, we might get into some necromancy, you know. You never know. Uh, to th think about this. Like two different colored eyes might be cool. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> and I like it. Make up I don't... <laughs> Just sort of like dirty looking. Oh, that's lip. Um, Eventually, you'll figure out what I'm going for here, but I'm not going to give it away. Uh, maybe sort of a sickly, yeah, 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 sort of a sickly. Yeah, that's sort of interesting. All right, all right, I don't win that. Uh, lip tints, do I want a lip tint? Let's keep them white. Put like a little... Yeah, keep them white. I like a little metal. A little. Yeah. Just very subtle. Very subtle. Uh, okay, eyes, lips, hair. Okay, this is where you might start seeing. any sort of mushroom here perhaps huh right a mario style mushroom perhaps white with the red and the you know no, that's good there um facial hair none i don't think <laughs> I wonder what it would look like if I did that. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, back, back. No beard. Hair. I think I did actually like those ones the best. Or right, let's just see. It's sort of like Hydra horns, which is interesting. Actually. Hmm. I mean, horns are cool, but. This is actually kind of cooler. Just little teeny ones. You know what? I'm going to go hornless. Yeah. Horn color. Yeah. Gonna hide him in there a little bit. so dumb and I love it. Alright, I think we are good to grow. 
so weird. What was that bubble? You see that bubble? This oh yeah, there's a. Hmm. Is that there a second ago? Am I just so cool looking that bubbles are showing up? That's probably what it is. Um. Oh shoot. I don't know if I want the librarian. I mean, it is. Would he still go by the same name? Ah, I see. I didn't consider this. Um, um, the Dark Librarian? The Lib Brain? <laughs> They? Librarian? <laughs> okay, I could fit it. Could do like we did in, uh, <laughs> what was it? Persona 5, because I couldn't fit. T Lib? Hmm. Oh, I, hey, I got it. The. Librarians. Aha! Uh -huh. Because it's like many voices in his crazy mind. The librarians. Perfect. <sighs> I do need a guardian. Okay, let's see. What are we feeling here? Hmm. Do we want a fellow teeth thing? Good. Yeah. We did dwarf last time. Okay, so yeah, let's do orc this time. Since we did gift the first time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Remarkable. Good luck. Follow your ins. Remarkable. Truly. Or, you know, it's trying to make. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm good at that. I'm trying to make a sexy lady. A big sexy lady. Yeah, Loth is good. Oh, okay, okay, wait. Had a thing for blue women. Cool. We're good with scars. Huh. That's kind of cool. My grandmother had Vigilago. Anyways. <laughs> Maybe we do do some body art for her. Cool neck. Oh, wait, I got an idea. We'll both have the same. Body art. Yeah, that's kind of a cool idea, right? Uh, if you're seeing... How come it doesn't zoom in for, uh... <clears throat> yeah, maybe we both got the same, uh... Easy breezy. Red eyes. Green eyes. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Makeup. What do we want? 
Can I? Is that can I? This one? Uh, green. Can't really tell to be honest, but with the sure. <laughs> the world looks so dumb. Uh, Alright, let's do a little less intense. Sure. Oh, yeah, okay, I want some cool haircuts. That's pretty cool. Very elaborate. Ponytail. Luscious locks. Oh, I'm sort of feeling that a bit. <laughs> that's the look. That, you know what? I'm thinking maybe I keep that. Just because of that. Well, we'll see. Um, that's the haircut we gave in our first... I remember. Uh, in our first playthrough. Alright, that's pretty badass though. I'm kind of feeling that one, to be honest. Blue and blue. Super dark. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and that's some highlights. Cool. Cool. I like her. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I think I made Mystique a little bit. That's all right. Who doesn't like Mystique, right? Um. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. I believe you can fly. Look, if I was that guy, I would just go home. Go home for the day. Well, that's me for today. Hi, hmm. my pretties. to dragons.
I don't like the cold. I do believe we're crashing. Race or impact. Whoop. The number three. That's kind of weird. stream I was there and I was there and I was there the blood in your head thrums and pounds that pounding blood obscures mm, who you are my head blood the overwhelming <clears throat> loss of memory how you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden you have nothing in your skull besides your name and a headache but you are in danger. Mm -hmm. Oh my. I will kill whoever has done this to me. The torturer behind this cruel prank will meet your malice when you get out of here. Killing. Oh, hello, this is my malice. Well, that sounds like your first good idea. Hmm. <laughs> My noggin. Mm -hmm. This is the pool that Bing came from. The parasite now writhing. Ooh, my new brain friend. <laughs> Minus one. This is going to be interesting being dumb. <laughs> the casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Mm. What do we have here? Oopsie! <laughs> someone else got out. Oh, someone else has made their escape. Might be other survivors. Oh, let's hope not. Ooh, look at these pretty individuals. Good. Dead good. Dead very good. Oh, what this? I'll give it a shot. Oh, I feel oh yes. Better. I feel like a new man's. My new man's. Swift as my feet can carry me. My pretty little toes. Ranger. 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 I'll take that. Books. I like books. What? Who said that? Ooh. 
some pretty colors. Who's this? Hello? What do we have here? Ooh! Reminds me of Ray Liotta. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. Mm. Yeah, why are you scared? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. Hmm. Alright, well, uh, how do we get out of their brain? Join my brain. Alright, easily done. I'll just pluck you for like a some sort of fruit. I don't know, coconut. Not a fruit expert. Uh, Liu. Let's grab this here. From the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Mm, I like friends. Your fingers twitch with the desire to rip its tender, moist meat to shreds. Mm. How would I have advantage? Because of split splatter? Oh, interesting. Yes, I shall do this. Critically. <laughs> so there we go, one of these. The creature seems unaware of your interference. It relaxes in your hands. There you are, my friend. Oh, boy. And those are some limbs. creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. Oh, my Mr. brain friend Brown. is friends with your brain we friend. Yes, what is your us. name? We are us. We are also us, the librarians. Let us to depart. The we, we are going to the helm. Mm -hmm. To the helm we go. Oh, brains. Brains. More brains. Ooh, a mind sanctuary. A brain jar. If I don't get a mind sanctuary, you don't either. That hurt a fair amount. Oh no. Come along. I said, come along. Oh, you can go down there. Come on, this thing. Don't make me ask you twice. Mm, I like the pretty flames. Oh, who goes there? You. Huh? Huh? This is your end. 
wound. Mm. If I had a dollar for everyone who called me an abomination, I would have several dollars. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? We got brain visitors. You are no thrall. Vlacketh blesses me this day. Together, Who's we might Vlacka? survive. We can Let's do nothing until get out we escape. Of this. That must be our priority. Hmm, this is a First, pretty landscape. we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Hmm. My good friend Ray Liotta, I shall call him. Hmm. These imps look friendly. Oh, brains go first. Interesting. Um. Uh, all right. Get him brain. Oh shit. Hang back. You're hurt. my wealth. I was independently wealthy before I came here, and now... Can you heal? Most fortunate. Don't waste a step. Wait, was this the same voice that I chose for... It might have been. Um... I'm not proficient with a short bow. Nope. Let's hold on to that, please, and thank you. I mean, we're gonna probably have better equipment fairly soon. Oh no, my in and out of character. It's melding, melding. Why can't we just stay here? I like this place. Ooh, look at the sphincter, for example. Hmm. Should we push buttons? What comfort gave machinery? The man isn't oh. dead, but he's totally unresponsive. You're but one step from oblivion stupor yourself, still wading through your empty skull to think a single thought. Mm. Should we eat this man? Oh, somebody asking for help. Well, we should get going, I guess. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. All right, let's put him. Uh oh! I've made them hostile. No choice but to keep going. Oopsie! Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck you. My path be true. 
I wasn't expecting a spell guy. Yeah, a hard to hit spell guy. I shall feast on your juicy innards. Oh, wait, why aren't I thorn whipping? New character, gotta, gotta get used to him, I guess. No, you should be hitting with the big heavy object. Yes. Night time to rest. Donuts. You wish to be free? The freedom of death? No time for stragglers. Hmm. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Hmm, she does have a point. Wait! That can't be. There has to be another way. Please! Cannot be helped. Come. Yeah. Oh, what are you gonna do, I guess? The console appears dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first, but then. Hmm. Oh, did I, uh... oh, is this a friend of yours? <laughs> that person had a mug on them. Please. Here goes nothing. Heal up. At the ready. Ooh, that healed all of us. Nice. Most nice. Ooh, dark lines. Wait, this one's barely dark at all. Sphincter. Ooh, a key. And a skimitar. Don't mind if I do. Dazed woman is trapped here? inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Hmm. Very well. Ooh, more dead. Hmm. You might unlock those controls next to the pot. Another brain. Ah, some of my goodies. Uh, what is your name? Lazar. Lazar? Did I ever tell you of the time where I murdered Dritz to Ordren? Most fascinating. Uh, okay, yeah, so this is the bag of bags. Valuables, keepsakes, weapons, dies. Uh, I'm gonna wait until I'm like in camp and figure this out a bit. And some of these might just stay in camp. Like in the camp chest. Although, uh, have I picked up any, uh, yeah, see, gold weighs nothing, and I don't have any books yet, but they, they do, I did test it. Uh, yeah, look at this cool, oh yes, let me check, summon Guinevere, yes, my faithful thingamajig. Lovely cape, lovely armor, uh, some spells for me. Click heals. Wait, what is that do? Freedom of movement. Oh, that's pretty good. And my weapons. Facing death and twinkle. Twinkle. 1d6 plus 3. 1d6 plus 2. Is that just because it's offhand? Like where I just switch them? 
Okay. It's better like that then. Resistance to fire, plus two, glacial brilliance. Yeah, I, I played with that. I don't really know what it does. Does it just glow, I guess? Uh, it's aura that gives off light in all directions for 20 turns. Hmm. And what is this one? And of course, Talmaru. I'm not proficient though. Oh, uh, are you? Eager for battle. You are proficient. Yeah, why well, don't you have this cool bow? I do uh, plan on keeping her as a companion because she's pretty evil, I so I hear. And so were we. Goodies, my goodies. Oh, yes. Most good. Um, let me pray to the great goddess Alexandria. Oh, yeah, I guess he still prays to the great goddess, right? Save our progress in your mighty tome, or else. Shall push this button. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. <laughs> Ooh. Like a beautiful butterfly. Mm. Change her. Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Here's hoping. We need to get out of here before it's ours. The newborn mind flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. Hello. <laughs> if not over, then through. I oh, you're still here? No. Oh. The console appears dormant. This here. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captive or transform her like that other unfortunate? Hmm. Well, only one way to find out. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming, then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Mm, yes. Authority. I shall be in charge. Largely. Largely in charge. -ly. <laughs> you feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel <coughs> sated. Yeah, <laughs> you fell down. She fell. <laughs> Larry, Larry, did you see that? She fell down. <laughs> oh, you're funny. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind Ooh. lurches into her thoughts. Ooh, fellow brain that friend. Attitude is mixed with wariness, because you have a gith with you. 
You keep dangerous company. Hmm. Yeah, what's All the, the problem? Gifts have a problem with everyone else. But there's more important matters right now. Survival. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Hmm. Okay, well, so you know, I'm not sure. Yeah, you know what? I haven't really come up with a huge game plan in terms of who I want in my party. Um, uh, I don't think I actually want... I did her uh, first time around. Um, uh, no, I don't think I do. I think I know who I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do uh, Larry, as I'm going to call her, I've decided. Um, the vampire guy, because I need someone to open locks and stuff. And um, I think there's like a, a Drow girl. Are you sure about that? Better in the Goblin Camp. I don't really know much about her, but I think that might be a good party. No, I do not wish to travel to... with you. I do not wish it, Sam. You is? And thank you for your help. Hmm. What do you have there? Gimme, gimme. Hmm. Most interesting. Alright. Let us be off. Let us be off, Larry. Which way am I going? I believe it is this way. One turn. Can I just always do that? I will try it. <laughs> That's nice. I was thinking of taking fairy fire. Not that I'll necessarily have that forever. Uh, if I get better weapons at some point. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. I shall do as all the voices in my head say. If you are one of them, well. Ooh, abs. Abs for days. <laughs> careful, careful. Think you're talking to me, or I am no thrall. Okay. You will connect them. I will connect. Oh, okay. Wait. Yeah. So let's uh, go this amount of distance. Then the heels. Bonus action. And go this way. Oh, okay, so it's just like a uh, cunning action. Uh, it's pretty nice. And then the uh, action dash. Oh, we made some. Made some good, uh, good speed there. I am working on it. I do not believe anyone could go as quick as I have just gone. Please keep that in mind. Points. Uh, you know what? You just stay here. In fact, move back a bit. We don't want you getting hurt. And then, hi. Oh, nice. Over here. Hello, Fury and Death. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, what class is she? Uh, 
I am going to probably have to redo some people's classes, I guess. Just because I was a rogue uh, bard, so that covered a lot of, a lot of areas. And, like, we don't have a cleric. <laughs> Maybe she can be a cleric. That would be a bad idea. Pardon me, sir. I wish you hadn't have done that. So this, stick this up my butt. Ooh, that doesn't go there. You made it in time. Mm -hmm. Juicy. Hello. I used to be the Dragonborn. Uh oh. Toasty. Give us a little twang. We. Woo. Maybe if I use my tail. This is this a prehensile tail? Perhaps. Eh. If you like stayed at camp, that'd be fun. Fun little brain running around camp. <laughs> I do believe we're crashing. Oh yeah, this girl. I think we can get her on our party. Ooh. <laughs> I love the way your tentacles blow in the wind. This is how I die. Okay, well, maybe next time. Ooh, the sun. <coughs> so bright out. Don't like it. You half expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't hmm. find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain, I know I'm the soon, librarian. Will be as black I travel as your from past. realm to realm. Your head whispers spreading vengeance. discourse. You cannot discourse? wait to slice your Dissonance? way forth, D seeking Dis whatever wrought this spreading bad things. You. I hate everyone and want to eat them and kill them in that order. But other than that, I'm at a loss. Oh, where's my brain, friend? Ooh, my body. They drink in the pungent corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, mm. your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs with your hands close to this body. You know nothing of why, but you find a half-smile flittering across your face. 
Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the grin hit the floor. Mm -hmm. Shit. <laughs> I do not recall. You see flashes of flesh all lumped together in a mass grave. No single image sticks out. There is something mm. unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. Yes. I like it. Seems like a good moment to talk. Oh, shit. She dead? Ooh, I want that pretty. Pretty, pretty. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Sometimes get. If I know my manners yet. Was it me? Swear to God. What are you doing? Um. Well. Yeah. That's honest of you. Don't do it's it again. the best policy. I'll give you a pass this time, considering I owe you my life. And speaking of, how are we alive? Hmm. Magic. True. Seems like we're the lucky ones, judging by all the corpses strewn about. Yeah, I strewn corpses. Remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. <sighs> Excuse me, it's very early in the morning. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. She shall be my friend. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. We shall first be things friends. first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Ciao for now. Wait. Charging off by yourself sounds like a fine way to get killed. We Thank need you. each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Hmm. Okay, for now. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. I just it wanted would have been to see all you too fall easy out of that right past my pod, <laughs> But you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Yes, now give me that item. I don't suppose I can take it from <laughs> Gimme, gimme, gimme. Sometimes get. Alright, alright. Suppose I shall allow you to travel with me for a time. Ooh, What's a in here? Okay. Ooh, a backpack. Ugly. Uh, oh no, is that my friend? My tiny little brain friend? Anything of use? Some fish. Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads. More of those wretched. Oh, is that my friend? Load. Which uh, I should keep my eyes peeled. Oh, actually, let me do this one. Hello, Guinevere. Help us with the murdering. Hey, you're not my friend. <laughs> when they dash, it's kind of creepy, right? Well, little skin rears. Little skid rears. Mm. I won't give in. I'm 
life give in? So level one beast. Okay. I wonder if Guinevere here like levels with me or just stays at this. Because uh, if he just stays at this, you know, not the most powerful, but fun uh, early on. It's just cool, you know, in general. Uh, abducted nobleman. Oh. All right, what now? Here, let me uh, let's have a look. I'm gonna see a chest. Oh, pockets. Go. What's hiding here? Never wanted the easy path. Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. Probably not very good. I can this. crack that open. Okay, but it's pretty easy. And plus, I have. Oh, we both have. I shall guide myself. Thank you very much. Oh, almost didn't make it. At least it was an easy one. Hmm. I think that's the helmet that, uh, in my other playthrough, that um, Gale wore. Like, the entire time he wore that leather helmet. I don't see, does one of us wish to wear? Oh, actually, she's not going to be there for long. Uh, on that note, give me your other things, please. I feel like this might be fun <laughs> playing an insane character. Why did I just take her underwear? I don't know. To remember her by clearly. Oh yeah, okay, so I'd want him. What's up for discussion? Hello. <clears throat> I've got one of those brain things cornered. Uh oh, it's not my friend, is it? In the grass. Is he, you can is he kill friendly? Us, you, like you killed the others? Watch this. I'm like a murder there. expert. Can you see it? Just I a dumb boar. You really believe that was a boar. Until you see the flash of a dagger. You can nom, try. nom nom. But first you'll tell me what you know. I saw you on the ship. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind oh. twists. A fellow tentacle lover. eyes, prowling dark, My busy new brain, streets. buddy. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <sighs> what was that? What's going on? We are brain buddies. You shall be my friend forever. Forever. The worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. Right. <laughs> Apologies. Sounds like it would have been pretty. <laughs> yes. A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. 
Off I was in and those beasts snatched me. This girl, I do not know her name, for I have not asked it. But I am the librarian. So, do you know anything about these worms? They feel funny. I suppose it's not exactly common knowledge. These worms are already affecting me. I can feel it. Now, what to do about it? Go with the flow. Come with you me. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you I seem am a like herd. a useful person to know. There is a All herd right. in my brain. I accept. Lead on. A brain he herd. joins your side, your mind dances with thoughts of a perfect, pretty corpse. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, okay. Uh, that's fun. First level up. Go bango bongo. Yeah. And all sorts of goodies. Okay, so we're not going circle the land, we're going circle spores because mushrooms. Viewing death, necrosis, fungal growth, and sporulation. I don't think that's a word I've ever seen before. Sporulation is just another part of life. You can manipulate such spores to augment yourself and harm your foes. So you get wild shapes still, but then also um, Hail of Spores, which is a reaction. Unleash a cloud of necrotic spores upon a target. Uses your actions so others won't trigger. So you can't get, like, opportunity attack. I wonder... I guess... Probably shield as well. Mm, I don't have shield yet, but... Probably something I would want down the road. Um, so get eight temporary hit points. That'll go up. Uh, deal additional necrotic when I have the... So this is like, uh, instead of wild shape, you sort of turn. Oh, I wonder if we'll look different. Yeah, I can't wait. And bone chill, which I think. Oh, we just got it. Okay, so I can't. So, uh, like switch it out. Uh, no new level of spells. So let's keep what we got, and do that and that for now. And then I'll probably do two. Well, we'll see. But I'll, I'll probably do two there. Get my wisdom up. Wait a second. Did I... I... think I might have screwed up. I don't think I chose... my... Oh, I didn't. Okay, well, at least I have perception and intimidation. Okay, so I might have to respect myself because I didn't, um, like I probably wouldn't have picked these two, or do I just get those? Animal, yeah, I don't think I would have picked animal ham, do I? Alright, I might have to, I, I, I totally forgot to even look at these when I was creating the character. That was dumb. Anyways. Um... Yeah, so I guess here's the question. I kind of don't, uh, I don't think I'm going to have her with me, so. Can I like, get out? I can't. Okay, so I'm just going to leave her. Um, Asterion, I think I am going to. I'm going to leave him as a rogue. Um, what are his stats like? Probably here. Go 18. Or do I have something? You know what? Do I have one that I'll raise dex by one? Might be nice. Hmm. Yeah, that might be nice. Okay, consider it. Well, let's do an athlete for now. Uh, 
I was thinking to maybe do that. Actually, I was thinking of doing that for myself, but maybe it would be cool with him. Yeah, okay, let's just do this for now. Yeah. And then probably do two decks next next time. Oh, you know what? I do have a question though. I don't know where um where what's her nuts is uh Larry. So I'm gonna need to find her. Um You know what? I think I'm gonna check my mind pass. Cause I do seem to recall that in my first playthrough, like I I never really saw her in chapter one practically. Um Okay, so we'll say Baller's Gate 3. Where is Lazriel? Lazriel? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Okay, da, 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 da. looking for where to find. Close by the entrance to the Drew Grove. Caught in a trap. Being interrogated by tieflings. Okay, here's a map. Oh, so bright. Okay. I got a map up on a monitor now. Alright. Let us head out. All. Everyone and all. Where shall we go? Where shall we go? That's. This. That. Let us go this away. I do believe. I shall wish to go this way. Perhaps. Came in. It's kind of hard to tell. I wish there was a. Baldur's Gate 2 had a. Uh, wait, oops. This. Way to expose the whole map. What is this thing? You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and on swirls this from it erratically as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Hmm, so am I. Hmm, mm, shocking. It felt kind of good. Nah. A hand? Anyone? Hmm. <laughs> yes, the hands you shall have. This branch of flesh is begging to be pruned, and its sap sucked from. Of My mistress eyelids stop! 
cease, you lose. As soon as the dream crosses the threshold of your imagination, you snap back to realize they have all Ooh, a free come hand. true. Just full of surprises, aren't you? I thought we could Joy use a hand in our journey. <laughs> days on the Nautiloid, but now you are truly oh, awake. Oh, good times. Alive. We're had by me. By us. Uh, Guinevere, you wish to eat the hand? Therian, you wish to say something? You look rabid, pained, sick. Oh, well, You're this is spasming spell. and twitching. Oh, poor thing. Hmm, <laughs> my skull. The norm is to keep dirty thoughts like that to ourselves, but do carry on. Hmm, <laughs> I like you. It seems you've been dealt a vile hand. I say, play it. Play it for all it's worth. Nobody should deny themselves their true nature. Hmm. I feel like we're gonna get along just fine. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Ah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Um, okay, so that's there. Oh, a trap. Must have been here a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What do we have here? Sword in me. Right. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Beautiful toad, a beautiful prince within this toad. And if it escapes, how will you? Oh, a guest. Your skull yes. pounds Welcome. in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. True. <laughs> yes, I Dimesa. should get rid of them. Watch out. You shall be getting rid of Nova. Getting rid of Nova. <laughs> I believe you can do better. Are you free? Okay. Here next time. The Guinevere pounce. One of these is pounce. Not one of these is pounce. <laughs> I can't reach them.
Wait, how do you have fireballs? Stand aside. Uh, maybe we can just hit it until it. Okay, one more how to do it. There you go. That's the, the tadpole stuff. hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer Thanks, we wait, Larry. the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. Ooh. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. Hmm. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. Hmm. Yes. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. Yes, trust I your shall judgment, call you Lair. But I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that mm. your mind proved its equal. <laughs> Half-elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. Zoru. We will ask this Zoru. Zoru where he has seen my kin. Very well. Very well. Hmm, that's real. Very well. Uh, yeah, so what is she? She's a fighter? For now. Action surge, yeah. Level 2 fight the war. Uh, what do we want? Yeah, she shall be our strong one. And... Come on, I guess. Ooh, 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 ooh. She stole my bow. <laughs> um, actually, you're probably better with the bow. Let's see, 714 versus, yeah, come on now. Um, she will be back at camp at some point. We just hold everything for now. So we do get to camp. And we can actually give you junk. No offense. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Can you use the scimitar? It is a finesse, uh, not proficient. How about you? Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Mm. Wait, where are you in? Long side. Yeah. Wait, who, did someone just say they crave blood? Oh my. Um. Wait, yeah, can any of you not use this? Deck saves? That might be better for you, to be honest. Let's take it off, because you look dumb. Some offense. Um. Mm-hmm. Grove Tender Boots. I don't need that. I don't need that. I definitely need Gale's Severed Hands. Needless to say. Uh, this is pretty. 
but I don't need it. Uh, I never use it. I carried a candle for like 99% of the, my last playthrough and never used it, so. So I've learned my lesson. Uh, I don't really need gems. Uh, although maybe at first. Just until I get the forbidden magics to get my gold back. Alright. I think that's good for now. Let us depart this place. Oh, uh, and to get that ring I mentioned, it is in the Druid's Grove, so we do have to go there. How do we get there from here? Um, All's well that ends. it's just sold by the oh, vendor. Not as bad as it could have. Like the first vendor you come across, basically. Oh, Druid's Grove. How do we get to this grove, would you say? I hear shouting up ahead. I do out. hear shouting up ahead. Careful is my first name. <laughs> he thought I was going to say middle. Hello? Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets Ooh, in! Ooh, I like bloody gates. Release the blood. What's going on? Goblins Free are on the blood. Open the gates of war now. You let goblins here? Where is the druid? What druid? Please, I'm a druid. There's no time. Ooh. Pretty, pretty beast. By the nine hells. Open the gates. <laughs> Mm. Oopsie. Wait, is this cannon? <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. The blade. Ooh, stabby, stabby. Oh, I didn't notice you directly in front of me. Pardon me. Pardon me, sir. Let's play. Here you go, ready for next time. Which one's pallets? I was for jugular pallets. Yeah, I feel like his range is not that great, or his speed. Oh, did he level up when, uh... No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe if I dismiss and summon him again? On some level, or you know, it might just be he doesn't stay that great. I assume we should just kill the goblins and then kill everyone, yes? Make way. deep within my bowels. Was that the brown note? If it wasn't, it is now. What am I doing? <laughs> um, okay, so... I think this will help. 
should just get all of them. Yes, what do I care if I <laughs> make sure to get them all? Oh my god. The, just the. I feel like. <laughs> Fairy fire. Just one person didn't. Oh no, he, he failed. Alright. I think I'll stay up here. Um, yeah, that's something we gotta check at some point. So I might as well do it now, right? Um. So ask, ask. Oh yeah, I get Warcaster with this Tiefling. Just automatic Warcaster, thank you very much. Um. So how does this work then? And also, where's my... Wild shape. There's the wild shape, but where's my, uh... Yeah, this. I kind of want to do this, okay. Just to see what it looks like. First playthrough, uh, we had Will in the camp, but I never really had him on the team. But he's kind of a goody two shoes, so I don't know how uh, how helpful that's going to be. Um, you know what? I think you can sneak attack for this. Yeah, you can. Nice. Really? around all right so let's see I, I don't think I'm gonna have unlimited this I guess right because I have unlimited wild shape let's see oh, yeah let's see what we look like when we do it oh yes feel it feel the spores Ooh. <laughs> I do a little dance I shake a little love I get down tonight Okay, I look the same. But I feel different. Yes. At the ready. Um my heels together. Can I get can get can I do this? Feel my spores. <laughs> Never really zoom in this close, but why not, right? Hmm, we've that was done the last it. Of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. But then we get to kill more. Hmm, okay, okay. Bug bear, bug bear. 
Broly Polly Bug Bear. Bone. Uh, okay, so the librarian. Um, collect teddy bears. Maybe I should collect bones. <laughs> Ooh. And skulls. Or just skulls, maybe. Bad looking scimitar. Our first shield. Ooh. <laughs> ah, interesting, interesting. Ah, no thank you. Oh, they closed the door on me. Motherfuckers. They shall pay. They shall rue the day that they barred me, the librarians. If even for but a moment, they shall pay. And pay dearly. Barth. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. Delicious children. You let them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! We lost him back at the ruins. Old place is crawling with gobos. He trusted you. Gobos. Nobody forced him to go Make with me us. Make lose he my insisted. mind. And when things fool. got tough, he couldn't keep up. up. Simple as that. <laughs> my God, you're mm. a coward. The human's Ooh. eye twitches. He's about to blow. Ooh, take your pants down quickly. Yes, let us watch the carnage. Should have done that a long time ago. <laughs> you see how we fell down? Frick had it out for me from Go day boom. one. No one leaves my people out cold. I don't know why you're angry at me. I'm just standing here. Jeez. Only Very way he shut that all under his nose. He was right, though. Coming back to this hellhole was a mistake no amount of gold can put right. I'd rather face another round of goblins than stay in this pit. Ooh, I like a pit. All right, everyone, this guy says there's a pit here. Let's go check it out. <laughs> pardon me, pardon me. Let's go walk on you. Ooh, who's this little man? Seems Tiny like little man here. Talk. A. A. Ron. I care about our lives. A few. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Mm, yes, Most that was you. what I did. Is there anything you need? I lower my prices for fellow druids. But you'll need to be quick. The ritual will be complete before too long. Oh, yes, the ritual. The ritual. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Very well. Let me see your bits and or bobs. Uh, okay. So where's that ring? <laughs> Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, see? And a good price as well. <laughs> um, bag full of bags. These are pretty good. Should I... I'm thinking maybe I should do it now, yeah. Alright, so let me exit. Uh, I shall Sylvanas use the forbidden magics to retrieve my vast wealth. So to do that, what we want to do is first throw down a good save. In case the game breaks shouldn't, but you never know. Um, then we want to go talk to him. Need anything else? Yes, please. Always happy to help those who follow the first circle. I don't know what that means. Okay, so we got 152. <laughs> One of these... Uh, where are we? Hello, hello. There it 
is open. 152. <laughs> Sylvanas be with you.
indolence breeds madness. We don't even know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over us. Look what I said. Can you stop shouting? No? One true way. Let's get going. Moving in. These teethlings prove fragile. I have a mind to end their misery myself. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. I failed to see the distinction. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. Will we survive? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. Okay. Wonderful. Always room for more.
one true way. Never a dull moment. I should speak up. I told them to run, the idiots! You better turn north here, or you'll end up like them. We got you surrounded. Here's how this goes. You take one step further, and we'll fill your front with arrows. Or you turn around, and your backside gets the same treatment. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Hold up, lads. This one might be more we bargained for. Go on, then. Just keep your nose clean. Nozelle, how would you punish someone who wronged you? Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft? Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully a thousand times over. Good to know. Let's have a look.
Is that blood? No, never mind. appear in your mind a brain a githyanki warrior and a thousand years of humanoid history elves dwarves humans and more flash behind your eyes
How many die today? How many die tomorrow? Something the matter. If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. I don't mean any harm. Wait, wait! I'm not your enemy. Quite the opposite, in fact. You're all anyone talks about in the Grove. Hearing all you've done inspired me. I want to join you. To fight by your side. I want to help people, as you've helped us. I've been running since El Terrell. And when we finally arrived at the Grove, we found danger there too. Unless I hide away from the world, I can't avoid it. So I'd rather face it head on. With you. Really? Oh, this is wonderful. Hmm. Just keep it quiet here. I won't let you down. I promise. You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here. But your head pounds and aches. A single moment comes to you. The flash of abject terror in her eyes. Blood spilling from her lips. No time for last words. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really, that you could be guilty of such bitter business?
If you could craft a corpse like this in one night, what masterpieces have you sculpted in your forgotten decades? You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. Your misdeed is bright and clear as the dawning day. Kincha, this is some sloppy work. Now, I can't help but notice that one of us is positively drenched in blood, so... You... talk. Anyone with half a mind could see that, but why? The work of the parasite, I shouldn't wonder. <sighs> The worm in your head has never slept more peacefully. You know in your heart it was something deeper, hungrier. We can but stand guard against the parasite. I'll be watching. An uneasy feeling lingers in the air as the Inquisition departs. You are left alone with a familiar headache. What's up for discussion? I thought this camp was supposed to be our safe haven. Not quite so when we wake up to dead tiefling bards. I may have difficulty sleeping for a while. All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Something the matter? If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste. You find well, but you're so efficient. Why not have a little? I fight to win. <laughs> what a waste. I 
of use. Look it, Claw. Sapper's here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Um, down, Claw! Bad girl! Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. Easy, lads. We got a true soul coming through. Lads are celebrating the raid on Joaquin's rest. We kept it a duke, we did. All the way from the city. I'm sure the higher-ups will make sure you get the best of the spoils, your excelness. The boss is in the temple inside. Uh, Mithara, too. And, and Priestess Gut can show you how many new recruits we got. So the tadpole gives us the ability to influence others. Ignore it. Deny it. This is nothing but a disease, and every use will sicken us further. T nonsense. Any power freely given is a power well received, and this 
is a valuable power indeed. My point exactly. I'm so glad you agree.
and the Noll Norda arm clean off. So much for the flaming fist, eh? You ain't here. We sacked Joaquin's rest and left it to burn. Drow flinging magic. Noll snapping off heads. Inns nothing but a pile of ash by now. Glorious. is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile, and a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the weapon. And you will be worthy to stand beside them in my presence. The visions fade and the voice falters as a strange energy swells around you. The many-sided artifact. Somehow you understand it's repelling the presence. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws near. The voice is quelled. The artifact's doing. Whatever power the artifact possesses, it shows no sign of it now. That's curious. Sounds like they've captured themselves a bard. Come, fill the front room. Not as you dare. 
Grab a drink before you see the priestess, Smacker. The branding stings something proper. The true souls are coming, they love. With fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Regslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you collide. <laughs> I never. You move off. Do as she says. Now. <clears throat> uh, now, where was I? Huh? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours? Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying? To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> Uh, uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, I am uh, draw Ragslin. Um, um, Tumptuous, uh, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, um. You broke him. Wait, wait. Uh, draw Ragslin. We pray. We uh... come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, look what you've done. Doing the absolute's work. State your business now. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. we stick you foreign types in the spider pit. But the Absolute says we're all making nice now. So in you go, I suppose. Well now, gonna have to be more specific than that. We're drowning in true souls, here we are. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Ragslin, or the Drow? <laughs> Audience is right. She's an uppity one and no mistake, but she knows her business. She's in telling the war chiefs what's what. Next raid's gonna be a big one, I hear. Oh, 
energy for the absolute mark on your it Smells flesh. like burnt flesh in here. Then I'll hear her voice. You're too feeble. Her voice is a Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the Scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathan, goddess of pain. Ah. Are you also here to assist with the prisoner? I was invited to teach them some of my techniques. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But, alas, these goblins seem to thrive on the crude and primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Forgive me, but... That look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. As the Maiden of Pain, the Goddess Loviata teaches us through penance, administered by my skilled hand. My work can grant peace and serenity, the likes of which few experience. It will be worth it. I promise. By all means, let us see what his skilled hand might get up to. This man is of common stock. Only the poorest of men need settle for the spectacle of their own gore. Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Both Loviata and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Simply face the wall and we can begin. Face the wall and let us begin, dear one. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. <laughs> you want more? As you wish, dear one. 
Oh, bravo! Encore. <laughs> wonderful! Just wonderful! <laughs> wonderful! You want more? I'll give it to you. It was a fine strike. Excellent form. <laughs> That's it! Welcome the pain! Let it become part of you. <laughs> I hope that's a promise, dear one. Sweet child. You bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. Interesting is an understatement, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. And on a personal note, thank you. That was positively divine. Your world has strange customs. Oh, don't grip me with the likes of them. True. You wouldn't have the grit. Seems like a good moment to talk. Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? P please stop! Ah, here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your lithid power is beyond reach until you rest. No, no, why won't he speak? The drow's gonna kill me if I can't make him talk. We do all the work, and you get to finish him. Bah! Take him! Won't do you any good. He just... screams. <sighs> Should have sent him to Moonrise with the rest, for all the good he's been. I wanna watch that weird priest next door. 
Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh, yeah, beating it good. What? The prisoner? Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. We... I was with a group of adventurers. We came here for an artifact. It's called the Night Song. We tried to sneak past the goblins, but they, they ambushed us. I didn't think a pack of goblins could be so... <laughs> so efficient. They... They didn't hide it. I don't think they even know it exists. I... It was locked away years ago. Somewhere underneath the temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned. When we arrived... Brian had instructions, but... The goblins got him. They... They said they'd eat him. Please, please. These shackles. I... I don't want to die. Another outsider come to see the boss. <laughs> Mind your manners now, or he'll throw you in the pit. Get down there and stop complaining. Floating on the beach. Oh! Best avoid it, or it may spoil the hunt. returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. I ain't no use without my limbs. The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of, one of the chosen, 
The vision fades away. A true soul? Praise be. Are you here to join my hunt? Worshippers of a false god. Their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbeliever's blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the Gith artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Absolute's clutches. The thief, whimpering in our dungeon, tried to flee to their sanctuary. We will continue to remove parts of him until he tells us exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Speak, true soul. The hunt must begin soon. You are sure? And how did you find it? Praise be. And now, through her will, you can be my eyes. Her mind enters yours. A splinter of ice piercing your memories. Tiefling faces flicker into view as she attempts to learn the grove's location. She sees the entrance to the grove as the adventurers retreat inside, joining the tieflings, and then smile serenely as blood and shadow spread like stains across your memory, erasing all that lived there. The cowards found refuge among the desperate. Perfect. If the inhabitants do not realize you have a knife at their throats, we can use that against them. Go to their refuge and make your way inside as a friend. Exquisite. The Absolute chose well when she chose you. I will gather a raiding party and move into position. You will open the gates from the inside when the time is right to strike. We will cleanse the place of infidels and burn it to the ground in the Absolute's name. And then we will be the first among her favorites. The masterful painting she depicts of the massacre awakens you hungrily. Control yourself. You are as uncouth as the goblins. The slaughter at the grove will not begin until you have prepared the way. You must make your way inside. Once I am in position, on your signal, we break them. And when they are dead, the Absolute will reward your faith. As will I. For the Absolute. The Raiders. This it is your ladyship. We won't wait you down to that. You're being arrested for thieving. Unless you can find a way to settle this here and now. 
The benefit of the doubt can only be bought so many times. Need anything else? Always happy to help those who follow the first circle. Sylvanus be with you. not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. 
That's fine too. Common sense at last. Let's get out of this death trap. Or would you deny your brother here his chance at fortune in Baldur's Gate? Come on, sis. We're less of a target alone. We should leave. Oh, fine. Let's sneak away like God's damned cowards. But if something happens to these people, it's on us. I hope you know that. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. Addressing me, a humble ox. How quaint. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. No. You are incapable. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this, move. Here for Funny. you. Another one. What are you under there then? Ant. Or rocks. The keepers of this place. They change their form to fit their need. They become birds to hunt on the wing, bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay, and I cannot even eat it, because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Hiding things, thinking they're clever, not clever. Sometimes I eat the shiny bits, and they have to go looking for them on the other end. What's in here? He stares right past you, as if you're invisible. Or boring. Please, last room! Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn! And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Ugh! Let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <sighs> Come! 
arm, Magrin. Give him a chance. You, step back. Go join the other tieflings. Druid or not, you're still an outsider to this place. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out the rest. A death viper. You have milked their poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Now, Wrath! <laughs> no! to me. Gone. By the gods, Korga, what have you done? Bury the remains. Continue the rite. And the parents? They're just outside. This outsider will take word once I've spoken to him. We must focus on the right. She's dead, refugee. Korga, we are guardians, not killers. Spare your tears. She knew the danger. She still tried to run. If only the devil let the teachers in, the child might have lived. You have Master House in to blame for that. I can't believe he just left. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Monsters both, then. Viper to viper. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders.
So you say. Yet you share their infernal blood. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Then they soon know the sting of my venom. Get out. We have no more business.
another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. A matter of coin. As thou desire. today a little small talk ah I shall be here in thy camp for whenever as thou desire
Blackheads will be done. Still alive. So that's progress. Time to press ahead. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Your finger traces the arc of your lips. Wetness, sweat, blood and saliva mixed into one viscous liquid. Chukil gake vlaketh mazathok! Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. Lazelle's fear grips you. Not fear of death, but fear of insignificance. The great warrior Lazelle, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon. Forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Blacketh. I will not let the Geich take me. I will earn Vlacketh's honor. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. I came just in time. You are transforming. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a Mind Flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. the thought crosses your mind it doesn't hold you doesn't devour you 
as your thoughts too often can. Your compulsions will doom us all if you do not work to stop them. I can help. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. fight for the fate of Faerun, a fight we are losing, for now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. feel better. I promise. Wait, wait, bows down! Gods above, we took you for a goblin! Get up here! I want that gate sealed before they arrive. And we need to talk!
should speak up. Gods above, you're alive. A little light, just as the day seems darkest. I'd given you up for dead at the goblin camp. I'm damn glad to be wrong. But what happened? We've seen the massing in the woods. You led the drow here? By the nine hells, why? I don't... Oh, gods. You've turned on us. Hells, why? Guards! Guards, help! Taking position. Excellent. Let my name be known. Sometimes the only way out is through. Let's find some prey. position.
death won't take me yet. <laughs> way into your mind the way is clear now we can cleanse this place completely kill everyone still breathing despite everything And if I do... to find a way forward. What's hiding here?
Mr. Quick. someone. Only the guards are allowed to do that, as this one is about to demonstrate. Your bribery attempt has caused some offense. Violence it is. Taking position. to do. 
I need more pockets. Cursed. Right tool will do the trick. Move. Someone there. Let's crack it open. At least things have stayed interesting. regards you lifelessly. Cesar, toughest in the tribe. Raglin, waterfall, bridge. can ask no more questions. They should all be running. Trust no one. Hardly a challenge. Oh, 
enough waiting. I crave blood. <laughs> I had a bag of holding. my fury. Won't work.
must be on my way. Blood follows me everywhere. Coming for you. Make way. These boots have seen everything. Clavier.
seems willing to speak, but not to its killer. Careful, I bite. All's well that ends. Well, not as bad as it could have. What's inside? Might be useful. What's in here? Something over there. Here we go. I can't even see a lock to pick.
towers seized the battle done, the moonrise broke the darkest one. You recognize the mark of the dark goddess Shah on the broken helmet. This army marched in her name. Moonrise must be a reference to Shah's divine sister, Saluna. I'll slow down. On the move. the absolute she will reward us well for this exquisite carnage
The true honor is to serve the Absolute. She loves you fiercely. I see that in the strength she has given you. And she has so much more to give. There is a bond between us, true soul. I can see what you are. What you want. And you can see what I want. Through her eyes you see yourself. Skin glistening with sweat, hands bound. Ecstasy or terror. Maybe both. You feel her breath on your neck, her fingers running down your spine, and then it is over. I will come to your camp tonight. We will celebrate this victory together. As you approach your camp, the walkers' celebrations have already begun. The goblins praise the Absolute, but their celebrations also honor their leaders, Minthara, and you. You fought well, and so did these creatures, thanks to our leadership. When you tire of their company, come to me. Tonight, you are mine. This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Your mind swells as it subsumes everything the tadpole has to offer. Everything it was and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. Good. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. What's up for discussion? Well, hello. 
Welcome to my humble party. What's your poison? Red? White? Ah, a good full-bodied choice. So, what are we drinking to? Other than a pile of courses. Hmm. Too surviving. Mmm. Delicious. So, has anyone in the camp caught your eye? I'm sure she is. If you can trust her not to bite your head off once you've done the deed. Whatever makes you happy, I suppose. As long as you don't come scratching at my door. She looks you up and down, her mind touches yours. You feel her hand at your neck, her lips closing around yours. Are you ready to give yourself to me? Good. I will join you when you go to your bed. You are mine. You are here. Good. Come with me. Now, lie down. Your obedience will make this more enjoyable for both of us. Tell me what you want. And you shall have me. As your bodies lock together, so do your minds. Her whole being is laid bare before you. And half hidden at the center of her desire, you discover something unexpected. Fear.
She flinches as layers of her psyche peel back, revealing the scars of a life spent anticipating a knife in the back. The memories of countless dead slain too soon. Not just enemies, but family, friends, lovers. Speak to me. Tell me what is in your heart. No. I want the truth. I want to hear it in your voice, not in my mind. The Absolute owns my mind. I cannot remember a time when her voice did not fill it. Except tonight. Tonight, the Absolute was silent. I only heard your breath and your voice. How is that possible? The artifact pulses softly, sending out a warning. It is afraid. This is blasphemy. But so much that has happened since I left the Underdark is like a dream of somebody else's life. I do not know myself anymore, except tonight. Tonight, I wanted this for myself. I must pray, and you must rest. Tomorrow, we will have fresh orders. dream you stand over yourself as you sleep a knife in your hand murder in your heart you are ready to strike to end your own life but then a shock runs through your mind this is no dream wake up true soul we must talk. I watched over you as you slept, peaceful and silent. And I spoke to our god. I asked her why she had chosen you, made you one of her faithful, when you are so clearly broken. Beautiful, but broken. There is something missing in you, and I do not understand it. When the Absolute failed to answer me, I feared that you had somehow infected me with that same absence. And so I decided that you must die. But then, a miracle happened. As I took out my blade, her voice returned to me, and she told me what I must do to purge myself of doubt. She told me to decide your fate, to determine if you are worthy, if you are, I am to send you into her embrace, at the seat of her power. In time, I believe we may be together. Travel to Moonrise. We will meet again there, at the heart of the Absolute's power. To gather our forces in this region. They're ill-disciplined. Without a strong hand, they'll disperse. The Absolute has spoken to you already in whispers, but at moonrise, you will be in her presence. She will test you. If you fail, you will break. 
If your faith is strong, you will become something even more beautiful. With difficulty, but I can help. The land around Moonrise is cursed. Traveling there will sap your strength and your sanity, but I can protect you. A wretched creature in my service can guide you through the curse. This harp will summon him. Play it when you are in the shadows and he will come to you and know that you are a friend. His minions will wait for you at the mountain pass on the threshold of the shadow curse. I warn you, he is quite mad, but he knows the path to Moonrise better than anyone. Go to him when you are ready. I will lead what remains of my forces to Moonrise ahead of you. <sighs> when we next meet, we will be together in the Absolute's presence, and she will make us her champions. Something the matter. Wait. <laughs> it hurts. A joyous little affliction that visits me with screaming agony on occasion. I'd be lying if I told you I know what causes it. But don't worry. Can't hurt you. Only me. It's... Just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. So, you've indulged. Just helped yourself to a little more power, I see. And there isn't a tentacle to be seen. <laughs> Not a bad deal, I'd say. My only complaint is that you didn't want to share. I wouldn't mind indulging myself. That's how it is. Pity. 
Not that I don't understand. I'd probably keep them for myself, too. But uh, do consider sharing next time. Because if you continue to get between me and what I want, I will have to find a way through you. Just something to think about. for me. These boots have seen everything. Better not be cursed. You're both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone! But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese! Now move it! It would have been quicker to kill them. Everything all right out there? Yeah, and who are you? Probably you're trapped the Vivian in. 
Come through that door and you're getting a knife in the guts. Keep your distance, darling. With pleasure. No time to waste. Imperial TV. ever easy. Spill some blood.
another fight. Let's go. How much further can I go? Always room for more. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long dead. No one stopped me yet. I should mind my step.
curse to put my hands on everything. Still in control. Just. What now? wasn't built for the living. Something good here, I hope. Time to rest. Light on my feet. 
This must be ancient. No one worships the final scribe anymore.
make way. Let's turn someone inside out. On my way. If not over, then through. Anything of use? Something good here. I hope. Trump's
someone who doesn't like visitors. Positioning. Never a dull moment. Don't waste a step. Nothing. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement.
Glowing eyes are rarely a good sign. Best be careful. Let's have a look. Don't touch me. on my mind and well in it At least things have stayed interesting. Very well. No hesitation.
What's inside? You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. I'm so, so sorry. It's our brother, true soul Edwin. He's injured, and I... I wasn't thinking. A shadow swims across your vision, and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite rides in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. Mind the true soul. He will... He... He... Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. A true soul. Thank the Absolute. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen, like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. We were looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. An angry one. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Oh, I like these two. All zeal and no brains. I'm sorry, true soul. I only repeated what I thought I knew. It seems the Absolute still has a great deal to teach me. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. 
The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. What? It killed one of us. It killed Edwin. It's an enemy of the Absolute. You're right, sir. The beast must be destroyed. The cave is just ahead. It was too much for us before, but... But if you could help us, True Soul, we may stand a chance. True Soul. Absolute. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. You know what to do. Don't be afraid. Most corpses feel like toys before you, to be played with and discarded when you tire. This body seems different. A friend calls out from the corpse, desperate to be freed. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you.
tracks. Its nest must be nearby. Absolute. Protect us. This is it. I guess we go inside? Let's see. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. Impero TV.
Taste my fury. Cub looks from you to his dead mother. A single strike will end his suffering. The cub would have died anyway. Nature might have provided it for us. Too late now. Mercy, of course. No traps, please. Best be on my way. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. This thing won't yield its contents easily. The same symbol as the chest. A prayer to open it. I prefer a blood offering, but all right.
On my way. Seems like a good moment to talk. We survived! I can't believe we survived! Um, sir. What now? Stronghold, right. Ed said something about the goblins. Bry will know the way. Thank you, true soul. He whines, but remains rooted by the corpse's side. nothing. What 
to do. Need to find a way forward. Let's move. Like it's will be done. Let's get going. How much further can I go? get started. breeds madness. An efficient path. I know what 
to do. on my feet. Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. <laughs> Funny. That's what our birdie wanted. Release me this instant, you beasts! Unless you want to join him up there, you best pay the toll. Chop it up! The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Give up! Mama Mercy, please! I know things. If you let me live, I'll make it worth your while, I promise! M -m My lot are kept nearby. I can get you inside, no hassle. You can loot it, do whatever. There's a hidden path. P -p 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 Past the, the bridge into the camp. Over to the side before you reach the first guards. Easy. No, why? All right. What now?
give it a shot. What's hiding here? Bag of Kamara. There's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? As expected. Coercion by the book. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. to live in more interesting times. Wong seems willing to speak, but not to its killer.
Reaction, not reaction. Watch your back. Still breathing, despite everything. Can't slow down. Dragon Rider, my kin are near. Damn, that thing could blot out the sun. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its night. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. Rider, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child.
Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme. The Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A geek vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to fall into the Gith Raiders' hands any more than it does the absolute followers. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. My mandate, just still Kithrak, is to locate this crash. I was infected aboard a Geich ship and need to be purified. Your mandate is to aid me. Purified? Soon your skin will go grey and your blood will run silver. You will shed your skin to become Geich. Only in death are the infected cleansed. Boretha. See that her skull is split and the tadpole crushed. Then examine her corpse. I will take word to the Undying Queen. Our search continues. A current of deception carries Voss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. To Danos, to the sky! Just like old times. moment.
Again. Try something else.
Blood comes easy these days. Take you. Timmy. One day I'll catch a break. Time to waste. At all. A Kithrak demanded my head. He'd deny me a cure. Bah! This is a distraction. The Kithrak deserves the whole of my scorn. How dare he speak my queen's name? How dare he dishonor her child? Do not be naive. I followed protocol. I've earned Vlacketh's favor. I will remove the parasite. I will see the Kithrak dead. And I will offer his head to Vlacketh herself. A crush is near. That much is certain. We follow the path forward and seek signs of Githyanki settlers. No one, not even the ignobles just still Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. I'm so tired. How do people do this all day? Let's have a look. energy courses through the slate, then to lay cell. Your own body buzzes in resonance. A diagram glows before you. 
Its meaning is beyond your comprehension. It is a map. A Githyanki crèche lies within an ancient temple at the mountain pass. Hurry forth. Purification is at hand. The corpse regards you lifelessly. You son of Gara. Monstrous warriors. Keen swords. Black spots. He crossed blades with a Githyanki. Few survive the ordeal. Few still claim victory. The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Miller, in Elturel, before its fall. Seeking path, Baldur's Gate. The spell's power wanes.
Let's have a rummage. Still alive. So that's progress. No traps, please. Seems simple enough. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. And you haven't tried to have it removed. It may not transform you immediately, but it's only a matter of time. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. The absolute sames are not yet clear to me, but its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the true souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot. And I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. 
I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. <laughs>